If you're just joining us for today's second date, Brittany is on the phone, and today she wants to call a guy named Colin, and their night had everything that you need for a perfectly romantic evening. They had dinner that went amazing, lots of laughter and fun, and then they went back to her place, started watching a movie, and of course, no romantic evening would be complete without the soothing sounds of your parents making love in the bedroom above you. God, it's so gross! Hey, Brittany. Yeah. Yeah. Does that jog your memory a little bit? Uh, Yes. (laughs) <laughs> Brittany, I am so sorry. If that was confusing to you, Brittany lives at her parents' house. She has like the whole downstairs to herself, I guess. But she did take her date back there, and they ended up hanging out for a while. But at a certain point, her parents didn't know she was home, and they started doing what parents do when the kids aren't around. <laughs> and and now the dude's not calling her back, and she suspects that's the reason. I do have two questions, just because I forgot to ask, because I was so mortified by what happened to you. Once you started hearing your parents doing it while you guys were making out, how long did it take for him to leave? You're making me think about this again. (laughs) I just want to know how scared he was. Uh, When it registered what was happening and the horror in my face, he left, like, not, like, ran out the door, but, you know, he uh, gave his, like, goodbyes and um, got out. I don't know if you want to call this guy back. I mean, it sounds like he's not there to protect you, man. It's like the the whole building was burning down and he left you for good. (laughs) To be fair to him, like, this is my fault. Like, it wouldn't have happened if I hadn't left my phone at home. The plan was to go out. Okay. Well, no, it still would have happened. You just wouldn't have known about it. Trust me. Uh, no, no. <laughs> All right. I'm dialing his phone number right now, and we'll see if we can get an answer for you. Here we go. Hello? Hi, can I speak to Colin? Yeah, this is him. Hey, what's up, man? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning. It's a radio show. Uh, okay. Uh, why, what can I help you with? Well, I'm calling you today because one of our listeners named Brittany asked us to get you on the phone. Brittany? Yeah. Why? Well, because she told us about your date, and now you're not setting up plans for another date, so she wants to know why. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, That's kind of creepy. True. Mm -hmm. But it's a segment we do on our show all the time. It's called The Second Date. And Brittany told us about your date, and it sounds awkward. At the end of it, at least. Oh, yeah. Emphasis on sounds. <laughs> Personally, for me, it sounds awesome, but oh, I could my. see how it could be awkward for a lot uh, of people. Oh, my God. Colin, he is a disturbed man. Don't listen to him. So she did tell you a bit what happened. Oh. Yeah, she told yeah. us that you guys went to dinner and then went back to her place, and then you got to hear the rare sounds of parents doing that <laughs> naughty thing that parents do. You're uh, making it sound like a National Geographic yeah. episode. Oh, okay. yeah, what do I hear off in the distance? Is that your father, Bert? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God, the mating rituals. <laughs> so, yeah, that's why she thinks you're not calling her back. I mean, kind of. I don't. Yeah. I don't know what to say. We totally. don't blame you. Yeah. I told her I wouldn't call yeah. her back either if I heard that. That has got to scar a person for a while. <laughs> Yeah, no, it was probably the most uncomfortable thing that has ever happened to me. Was it uncomfortable because she kept talking and you wanted to hear more? You're like, shush, I'm no. listening. <laughs> no. Oh, God. Um, I mean, everything stopped on my end pretty quickly. You know. <laughs> oh, my God. I just imagine you both like trying to turn the TV up and it's still not helping. It's never, it's like, never is enough there volume. Anything that can cover the sound that's coming from uh, the parents' bedroom above us. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> so that's it. He's got, like, PTSD. Did yeah. you hear that? Why not go out with her again, though? I mean, it's not her fault that her parents can't keep themselves under control. I mean, they're probably, like, 50 or 60. I mean, at this point, they should never be doing that again, you know? But oh, it's not her Jubal. fault. Oh. You sure it's not her fault? How would it be her fault, what? man? I don't know. As soon as it started happening, she started acting real weird. Like real was... weird how? I don't know. She had this like look on her face, and I don't even know how to explain it. It was like she didn't seem surprised at all that it was happening. What? She was probably okay. just mortified. That's not what I would look like if I were mortified. <laughs> <laughs> so you think that she was enjoying hearing ah! that? 
Maybe. Maybe a little what? bit. Whoa! Dude, that, that is a heavy accusation. Oh, my god! How would she ever be enjoying something like that? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. She was looking at me, and she was just like, you want to get back at them? And what? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how you respond to that. She said that to me, and I don't. I don't know what a normal person says in that moment. <laughs> she had to have been joking. It had to have been a bad joke at a bad time, trying to make light of a really awful situation. That's what I was thinking. But she doubled down, and then she kissed me hard right on the mouth. <gasps> and, and you laughed. Like, <laughs> no, could you believe that is so gross? Oh Who can God. still kiss at a time? like that who can hear their parents doing it and still kiss anyone i don't know if the whole family was in on it i don't know i didn't you know <laughs> dude and that's what i'm saying all kinds of opportunities there that i think you missed colin oh no no <laughs> well, well, colin thank you for sharing i will also tell you that we do have another surprise for you because Brittany is actually on the phone listening and wants to talk to you no no I... yeah and her whole family is too what? Oh. That part isn't true. <laughs> I'm oh, not. Hi, Colin. <laughs> oh, sh- hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wish you would have talked to me before I <laughs> called a radio station to try and get you on a date. But um, I wish you would have talked to me about how you perceived that situation <laughs> how we all just perceived it yeah i i mean i don't what else would i think like i'm not I gonna mean, sit like, there and we like had a ask good date, you right like we had a really good date is there any other part of the date that would have made you think i was a crazy person no but like why would a crazy person like say hi i'm crazy and i do things with my parents like that's <laughs> messed up <laughs> That's gross, first off. But Colin, listen to me. I agree. Me. Like, That's okay, the whole you, thing. you said you were talking about the joke I made. I was joking. Yes. I thought you got on the date that I like. I really enjoy just saying jokes, and I was trying to break the tension. And like, I get that it was not a good joke. Not the way to do I, it. Like, I, that's why I repeated it because I was like, oh, he doesn't get that I'm joking. I'll do it. <laughs> like, I'll make it more obvious. Like, oh, oh my God. Like, <laughs> you like, he, like, you weren't, I was like, he's not, like, surely he'll get that. But Brittany, you kissed him. I get it yep. was maybe not my finest moment, but I was panicked. I was trying to diffuse the situation oh, and not make you feel like the horror I was feeling <laughs> during it's, this. It's, it's still happening upstairs, though. Like, there's nothing to do but leave. We could have left. You could have done anything. That's not how you handle that situation. I don't. Yeah. You can't say I'm practiced in the art of that <laughs> situation. Like, I'm sorry no I handled it. What? You leave. You get out of the situation. That's what normal people do. And now I know how your parents sound during sex. I know what your mom sounds like during sex. I can't meet them ever now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Or you can. You just got to do the sound when you meet her. Like <laughs> So gross. Oh, no. Man. <laughs> it is a good question, Brittany. How, why didn't like? Why didn't you leave? It all happened so quickly. And I was like, oh, my God. In my head, I was like, if I leave, like, my parents are going to know that I'm downstairs. No. It's like we were to hook up. Like, at least the noise from that would, like, over drown out my parents. <laughs> Wait, so you were serious. She was serious. Brittany, you just admitted it. No. I'm just saying, like, that was the benefit if we did that. But I'm joking. Like, I'm a joker. You can't take me seriously. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're the Joker. You're like from Batman. You're you're insane. <laughs> I'm not crazy. Give me another chance, Colin. Just one more date for me to prove. You know, I'm not crazy. I like to laugh and tell jokes. I am not the person you think in your head. Brittany, you're literally having to prove that your parents getting it on doesn't do something for you. <laughs> who, who do you know? Anyone that that does something for them well i didn't until you were on the phone with us and now i'm not sure (laughs) they're there they're on the internet somewhere they're on the dark web and you can find them there Brittany. if that really is what you're into but let's talk to colin real quick and see if colin wants to go out with you colin will you go out with Brittany one more time we'll pay for it well knowing what her family sounds like and 
these weird jokes that apparently she likes to make all the time? I, I'm i going to have to go with no. Oh. <laughs> it's just disappointing, Colin. I had so much more planned for our next date. Oh. Yeah, Colin, our family reunion's coming up. You oh. never know <laughs> what can go down. Oh, God. <laughs> that is gross. No, thank you. A listener named Brittany is on the phone with us, and she sent us an email for a second date. And I'm excited to talk to her because... Her date ended with them going back to her place, and yes, there was a little hooking up involved. Oh. Are you just excited to hear the details and live vicariously, or what's <laughs> going on, man? Well, she shared some of the details in her email, and uh-huh. I think you guys are going to love it. Okay. Awesome. So let's talk to her right now. Brittany, what's up? Hey, how are you? Hey. Good. Good. Brittany. How are you? Uh, doing okay. Just confused waiting for a phone call (laughs) okay (laughs) um before we get into how your evening went tell us about the guy that you want to call what's his name his name's colin um oh even how you say it you're longing for colin (laughs) (laughs) yeah um he's so yummy oh that is a good description like on the eyes or everything did you murder him and eat him Because, oh my God, you're so dark, you Jubal. Are. Well, that would be the reason he's not calling back, Brittany, if you did that. <laughs> well, I did not harm him. If that's oh my God, I'm so sick. Okay. <laughs> There's something wrong with you. Yes. Yes, there <laughs> yeah. is. <Definitely>. Well. <laughs> okay, wait, and how did you meet Yummy Colin? I forget. Did you tell us already? Um, I'm sorry. No, I, we met on the dating app. Okay. And what was exciting about him? He was just, like, really flirtatious when we were, like, talking on the app and suggested, like, hey, you want to get together? Okay. So we decided to meet up and then, you know, go get drinks after dinner if it went well. And what what was different about this date than, like, other dates you've been on? I mean, like, you know when it's a good date. It's the conversation flows. Like, he was had a lot of witty banter. He was laughing at a lot of my jokes. And it was just, like, really natural. It was really easy. I love easy dates. Love it. <laughs> not like that, bro. <laughs> um, so why do you think he's not calling you back then? What, what happened? Well, there is one thing that happened. Um, before we decided to go to the bar to grab a drink after mm-hmm. dinner, I realized I left my phone at my place. So just like not knowing him very well, I was like, would you mind if we grabbed my phone on the way out to the bar? So we did. We went back to my place. Um, so I should tell you guys, I do live with my parents and I, um, I told him this, like, as we were pulling up to my parents' house, yeah. it's temporary. Mm-hmm. I told him. He laughed it off. Like, he was totally cool about it. And, you know, I have the whole bottom floor to the place. And, like, there's a separate entrance to get in and out. Right. So we did. We got to my house, and I found my phone. Um, we started, like, kind of hanging out there. We ended up watching a movie and got cozy on the couch, made oh. out a little bit. So you guys didn't even make it to drinks. No, we didn't make it to drinks. Like I said, like everything was just going really well, and it was easy. Not in that sense. It was easy, but... Uh... <laughs> that easy. Was the phone just your excuse to bring him back to your place? No, and... no. But that's okay. not plan at all. Sounds like an excuse. If I was that dude, I'd have been like, yeah, we uh-huh. can absolutely go, quote, grab your phone, <laughs> end quote. <laughs> and I get that, and you know, I'm, I'm okay. It wasn't the plan, but this awkward part did happen where we were making out a little bit, and we could hear noises above my room you know like noises getting together shut up please don't make me say it no way. Wait, wait, what you, i don't understand were... what you mean like board games or... oh my god <laughs> no don't make me say it it's already weird enough they wait doing it? so you were making out with a date and listening to your parents get it on oh, upstairs god. oh god yeah like <laughs> we can oh my we can keep it vague it's so weird I'm like i cannot oh believe it oh my god I'm so embarrassed that talk is... about setting the mood well i mean i agree but like i was just so embarrassed um and i thought it was like oh okay maybe we'll like stop right <laughs> <laughs> and um, it didn't. It like whoa. It, it didn't stop. But then I don't know. Shortly after, he was like, "Oh, I have to go. Like, we'll let's get together again soon." And I have to go. And I totally understood why he wanted to leave. Like, I didn't want to be there either. <laughs> but unfortunately, you had to go back in your house and lay down on your bed and just listen to them having oh, the no. best time. Oh no 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 no! They make sounds like noise canceling headphones. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, like now, I can't get him to agree to another date. Oh my God, that is so awkward. I don't know if I would want to go out another date. 
Because, I mean, my parents are at least good role models. Yeah. Right? Oh, what? what? <laughs> good <laughs> role models. Say that. Hey, I heard what your parents are doing. Did you learn a thing or two from mommy and daddy? Uh, no, I just mean a good relationship. <laughs> yeah, sounds like it. Sounds like they have a great relationship. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay, well, we'll play a song, come back, and we'll find out if your parents doing it did your date in. <laughs> So bad. I just don't want it to screw up the next one. Yeah. That's right. Your parents screwing could have screwed your data. Okay. Oh, 